Ooh, that's a lot of hair. I don't know if anybody's going to show up, but I'm here on Zoom. It's all the honking about. Well, here we are. I don't know if anybody's going to show up, but I am still going to share what I have going on. So, Real time or recorded, it doesn't matter. If you need a little bit of resilience right now, I want to share some with you. Um, I'm gonna try and show my other screen because that's the one that really matters. So let me try that again. All right, so here's where we are. We're in this together. And the resources that I use for that are um, Shine, a lot of Onward, and um, Brene and Glennon really get me through stuff. So if you're joining, awesome. Hi, I'm recording this. Um, but Shine is an app on your phone. And it's really awesome because it gives you a little bit of calm to start your day each day and you get to check in. So today's is find your patience today. Oh. If you wouldn't plant a seed and then dig it up every few minutes to see if it has grown, so why would you keep questioning yourself, your hard work and your decisions? Have patience, stop overthinking and keep watering your seeds. So today I'm grateful for, and you fill it in um, and help yourself find patience. So today I am grateful for my amazing husband who just totally keeps me grounded. So that's awesome. And then it says three ways to become more patient and you get to read an article, which is awesome. And then it says, are you ready to go read more? And if you are, they give you more and more to read. And then if you're ready to check in, it asks you, are you ready to check in? And I am. So my check-in is, what's my current mood? Well, I'm feeling a little meh. I'm closing down my building today, so that's a little overwhelming. Um, I'm worrying too much, that is for sure. And it just keeps giving you questions to answer. And it says, all right, which of the following options feels the most helpful in this moment? Read an, on advice listen to a meditation, free write, or let's talk it out. And so for me, it's the meditation. But since nobody's on here live, I'm going to hold on the meditation and do that myself um, while I share a little bit with you. So Onward um, is Elena Aguilar wrote this amazing book, and um, it is called Onward, Cultivating Emotional Resilience in Educators. And it's magical. Um, and now that all parents are educators, I thought it would be good to share. Um, but this idea that your individual resilience, your organizational conditions, and your systemic conditions 
are what impact you. And by boosting one of them, you can deal better with the other. So if you focus on yourself, you'll be able to really deal better with the world around you. And there's habits and dispositions. Um, but you start with knowing yourself. And so this graphic, the book really focuses on where you are, how you are, and what you do. Um, but you really need to know who you are to get started. So on the next installment of this, I will share some tips on knowing yourself. Um, so that will be coming in another video. Um, so I want to go back um, and I want to read a little bit from Brene in Braving the Wilderness. This is on page um, 128 and it talks about connection. All of the examples of collective joy and pain are sacred experiences. They are so deeply human that they cut through our differences and tap into our hardwired nature. These experiences tell us what is true and possible about the human spirit. We need these moments as, strangers, as reminders that despite how much we might dislike someone on Facebook or even in person, we are still extremely connected. And it doesn't have to be a big moment with thousands of strangers. We can be reminded of our connection after talking with a seatmate or on a two hour flight. Hi, Kristen. Nobody else is here. So I'm just recording this, sharing awesome stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, so anyway, I've moved on to Brene at this point, Braving the Wilderness. Um, and I don't know how these recordings work. So um, I don't know. We're just doing it. Um, and I did start with the Shine app. I don't know if you have that one on. I it. don't have that one. That's the best one. So the Brene reading for today is the problem is that we don't show up at, show up for enough of these experiences. We clearly need them, but that's vulnerable to lean into that kind of shared joy and pain. We armor up, we shove our hands into our pockets during the concert, or we roll our eyes at the dance or put our headphones on rather than to get to know someone on the train. And we don't have any of those experiences anymore. Because <laughs> I was just people. thinking that. I was like, well, not a lot of opportunities right now. Right? So we got to reach out. We got to find those people and we got to have um, some time together. And then my Glennon. 143. You'll love this one. Um, it's called Touch Trees. And it's this idea that if you're like out in the wilderness, you need a touch tree as you like keep circling and trying to find it. And um, she talks about a touch tree is one recognizable, strong, large tree that becomes the lost one's home base. She can adventure out into the woods as long as she returns to her touch tree. Again and again, this perpetual returning will keep her from getting too far gone. And the idea that we're each our own touch tree. I like that. No. Are you already that far into that book? Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe further. <laughs> um, and then I shared with anybody who wants to see this, this whole piece from Elena and what we can share. And I think I'm just going to record something every day from Elena to help people. Like, it's fair. Do it's what good we're stuff. Doing. Yeah. So. <sighs> So that was it. That was my little thing for today. I love that you had an agenda and <laughs> total nerd, right? 